Hello folks, good day. It is I, your host, Lord Valdorox, and here we are, another day, another quest. Uh, without further ado, let's go right ahead and jump into it. This time around, as far as my party goes, I decided to bring in one, again, one lower tier star servant, Ushiwakumaru, to show, I guess you could say, her potential. I want to say she could do a better job than the Yuri Pirates, given that they're now at MP4, or I think it might be MP5, whichever the case it may be, though, regardless. Then I would have loved to have brought my Shiki, Assassin Shiki. I would recommend her in place of Carmilla, but the only reason I didn't bring her along is because I, I do not have an ex enough XP cards to get her all the way up to level 80. But the most, maybe I'll probably get her to level 60, but she won't play a huge role that much as well. So, a close counterpart, which again, I could have brought in Jack just to, I guess you could say, mitigate more power. But, I figured, you know what, bring it down to as much of a lower level as I can, you know, to show some level of comparison. The only thing that's off the charts would be my backup servants in the back, which would be Vlad, Hercules. But again, any designated single target Berserk you'd want in the back ready with some type of charge all set and ready. And Dantes is just sitting there in the back because, again, he might be able to pull off a couple of things here and there. But we're facing this time around I decided to look up ahead online. So, again, if I go in blind, I'm, I can't say I'm going in blind because this time I'm going in with information. So, let us continue. All vitals look fine. I'm not seeing any issues with the magical circuit either. But this certainly isn't normal. Valdorox, can you hear me? No response. The eyes seem to be looking at us. But the mind isn't here. We're not getting any response from our answers. Even if the eyes are open, that's all that is. Senpai. I've been with you all the time. These past three days. I should have realized something was wrong from the start. I do see occasional magical circuit activity, that might be our hint. Da Vinci and I will keep doing a detailed diagnosis and analysis. Fergus seems seem to know something, right? But he wouldn't answer my questions. Me neither. He said there was nothing we could do from here. Senpai, wake up, Senpai. How are you feeling? Oh, please keep lying down. There's no need to force yourself out of bed. You seem to be having a bad dream, so I spoke to you. I apologize for scaring you. I think I saw Caldia. That's where you belong, isn't it? Caldia. I never heard that name, but it's important to you, isn't it? When you say the name, I can see the nobility in your eyes. You're so jealous. I'm sure you know what you must do in life. But I, I don't even know who I am. How does it feel to have a woman care for you? It's not a bad thing, is it? You're probably the first to turn a woman into a maid at the Chateau d'If, Master. You do like to sleep, though. You were out for an entire day. Good morning. There is no morning or night here. It is completely isolated from the outside world, so it's meaningless. Hello, my temporary master. I have a question for your adult head. Have you ever been slothful? Have you ever known what you must do, but instead of exhorting effort, given to temptation of rest? Have you ever acted not as a gear in the machine of society, but as one who seeks only their own pleasure? Oh, there is no need for, to answer. That's what you're doing right now. That's going too far, Avenger. Valderox is too exhausted to get up. Oh, I'm sure. The connection between soul and body is becoming unstable. You are spending less and less time with your mind in Kaldia, correct? Do as you please. You can sleep here, or you can stand and face a third judgment. Whatever it is, you must choose. I'll get him. Valderox? Haha, <laughs> yes, that's perfect. As long as your soul continues, I shall witness its end. I am not going to slow down my pace. If you don't wish to be left behind, try your best to keep up. 
focus on the existence of your magic circuits. You are human. You can only gain power through reason. Weave the magical energy from your body at Chaldea like you've done so far to fuel your spells. Fight. Kill. Just as you've done on your way here. Was it okay to leave Mercedes? Let her wait in the cell. The hall of judgment that awaits is yours alone. To be precise, yes, this is your Chateau Dave. Your trapped soul forces fragments of the souls. Uh, apologies. Of the souls you form relationships with to come here across time and space. Yes, you forge a relationship with that woman, or perhaps you will in the future. Don't think too much about it. Just keep killing the enemies you see. I would hope you'd understand by now. But the third judgment will pit you against the Avatar of Sloth. Oh lord! Was it you who has brought me to this stage? Very well then, I shall perform be a tragedy or comedy. But be warned, all of my performances shall be blasphemous. Shining one, tremble before my blasphemy. Holy one, let my mockery bring you down to earth. Oh, oh, blessings be upon this place. My heart is pounding like never before. I shall love her up to God, the ultimate cool. Yes, perhaps the soul of hope, filled hero. He looks ready to go to me. Ha <laughs> what? That is the greatest sloth imaginable. He has forgotten his purity as a knight, even what it was his saint stood for. He let his soul rot and fall. He is the lowest state of humanity. He is a manifestation of the worst that humanity can become. Your words honor me. Yes, yes, and so my comedy shall make a mockery of the Lord. You dark laughing man who doubts in the Lord, to hell you shall go along with that holy light. A soul filled with hope, refusing to give up hope that they will someday return even in the eternal prison. How wonderful! No, no, it's never going to happen. No matter how much hope you have, you will end here. Did you know the soul can feel pain? If I break the fingers of your soul, sever its limbs, slice open its belly, stir its intestines and rip out your its eyes, you will fall into despair immediately, faster than a shooting star in the night sky. I'll pass. Noble soul, who would save the world, I shall send you to the pits of hell. Kill, kill, kill. He knows how to devour your soul. Nah, I kind of feel I got a good act out of all that. In any case though, folks, it will be facing golems along the way, so... Right off the bat, if you can have any servants that can provide defense right away, is your best bet. But you also need to charge up your MP too. This one hardens, and I believe these increase their attacks. So. Just to use just cause, because in a few turns it'll be cut down for sure. In that case, though. All charged up, and I believe those are all. Oh, yes. And they're going after the rider for sure because they know that's the one that can take down their boss. And the next one looks like we're facing is a powerful golem indeed, so Carmilla will have to wipe it out. should have known who she was gonna take it down this one like I said golem I could set up all Carmilla cards and that should do the trick if I'm lucky she should kill it because Carmilla's thing is with her noble phantasm after doing damage she gains an attack buff the only ideal assassin I can think of because Unless you're hoping for Ryoji Shiki to kill it, it's probably not gonna happen. See? Even if that golem gets a strike...
Oh yeah, it's pissed. <laughs> okay, so we charge up Carmilla's Noble Phantasm, or at least try in this case. Because I'm going to need her in the next turn. But your main target should be Gal de Reyes. He has a ton of HP, I believe, with the numbers are not lying here. 200k HP. I don't think Ushi's going to have enough to take it down. Yes, yeah, so the demons are going to be formal. Formidable. Mmm. This is too tempting to pass up. But again, Carmilla can't do damage against them. So we'll see what, what the, how far this is going to get us. Lower its defense. Buff of its attack. I'm worried about the... Let's see. Ushi is weak against... She's a rider. She's weak against Assassin's Soul. I'll use that turn to stun this guy. I need her to stay alive just a little longer. Hmm. Probably should have waited to use that MP buff. And again... Either generate crit stars or... Right now we're going all Ushi. She should hit a good, I want to say, 100k to 150k, because mine's at MP5. I, mean, I could be wrong too with the numbers. Yeah, 120k. Should have seen that. Yeah, going after Carmilla, huh? Because she's the only one that could... Well, actually, no. I don't, I'm not too afraid of that right over there on the side. The only one I'm concerned about is this assassin. So I should work on taking him down with Waver. There's several enemies here to be worried about, especially that assassin, because if it shoots off his demon seal, it can kill your rider. Probably should have focused on it first. So a good offensive caster would be good right here to take down that assassin. NP loss. Not too worried, not too worried. I think Carmilla's done enough, but probably wait until next turn where I can actually sweep out, switch out and charge up Vlad so he can take down one of those enemies, but in the meantime, this is what we're gonna do. Do this. Nice! Stun across the board. Yes, I know. It's one of those things where if you don't have waiver, you kind of have to take advantage of the fact that you have to use other servants. So your main focus will probably be in between both. Again, Carmilla's fulfilled her role here for the most part. That last one over there is going to be a problem, yes, but not if I do this. My objective here is... Lads should kill this one. Please. Oh, yes. Just use that, I guess, on Ushi. Hmm, we got to use Ushi's skill. Vlad should kill this one, possibly. You should do get half the amount of damage. Whether he kills it or not, that's a fucking story. No, it didn't kill it. Okay, it was wrong. So close. I dare you to hit Ushi. Oh, you sloth. Do that. Now the charge is up. You're gonna finish off for sure next turn, even if he does try an MP drain again. We should, should charge up enough. And even then, oh nice, he's dead, folks. Again, and the Berserker right there that you could use right there, I'm thinking against two single normal, normal Phantasm Berserkers. There's Lubu that comes to mind and also Caligula, but again, it's, it'd be nice you can have at least an MP5 so they can optimize on damage. Two hearts, four of those octopla crystals, and a caster monument. 
I know, folks, I made it look easy. I could have substituted it in several characters, like I said. Two backup mages would have been nice right there in case you don't have waiver. Oh, dialogue. Hmm, that's not good, Valderox. You are not responding to even Lady Mash or the doctor's calls. Your soul must have wandered off to some abyss indeed. I'm sorry, it seems a fragment of me has caused you problems. What a strange state you are in. I cannot save you. But don't worry, as far as I know, the light of your soul is without peer. Your will someday will turn, return here, as long as that light does not go out. Of course, at my level, I have no way of knowing everything on your mind. But even so, may the blessings of my holy maiden be with you. Yeah, thank you. I already have John the Vark. And another ticket. I already got what I wanted from the gacha, folks. So there's no reason for me to be pulling on the gacha. I already kind of gave up on getting kaleidoscopes, even though the picture's right there. Yes, I know all too well. It's not on rate up, if it doesn't say anything about rate up. I already got MP2 Dantes after all those amount of course, so I'm kind of done. Just saving up the tickets, I guess. I mean, I guess there's no really point in saving up. And... Alright then, folks, there you have it. That was the quest. If you wish to tackle it, be my guest. Take your time, strategize, as I mentioned before. Three golems in the beginning, take the opportunity to raise your defense right there. You have a servant that can raise defense. Along with that, I'd say you charge up as well. So you can, you know, take advantage of the defense, however many turns it last. And that crystal golem, you need a single target user. Again, don't use your rider for that. If you don't have anything else, I guess go ahead. But again, do not use your rider. The one I would recommend using is if you have your... Um, assassin charged up. Shiki ideally would be nice for this situation just to take down that golem. And then after that, how you proceed is up to you. No, 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 no. I could say that, but in the last stage, like I said, it guiles because at least take down a chunk of his HP and then if you want, go after the demon onto the right, which should be the assassin demon because if he fires his MP seal, he'll kill one of your servants at random. Although more like than not, he's going to target your uh, rider because it's the one that's the most threat to Giles. So you want to take him down quickly. Either that or protect, um, again, protect your rider at all cost. The switch uh, um, command seal, which is pretty much the plug suit, it would be ideal for the switch situation. As you saw, I brought in my Berserker to take down the rider one, which again, if you're at the moment where you can't use any other servants and your casters and taking down that assassin, I'd say switching your berserker and charging him up as fast as you can before the turns expire and then that demon fires its demon seal. Other than that though, taking down Gael should be a cinch. The only problem is that he decreases your MP, so that's the only thing that makes it difficult. No one. The one other thing I could recommend is if you started it early, and I mean really early, would be that uh, Mystic Code that allows you to negate buffs. I don't think that counts as a buff, but anything. The one that comes to my mind right now, which again is a Berserker, would be Caligula. He, uh, he creates an MP seal and he skill seals as well, his Noble Phantasm. He should work against Giles and preventing him from using his skills. And then if you get lucky and MP seal him, but again, MP seal probably has a less of a chance to hit than anything else. But again, they're better than nothing, right? Other than that though, folks, I wish you luck in this next quest. It's not gonna be easy, but it wasn't a pushover either. Anyways though, good luck. And if you're still rolling, good luck on your rolls as well. This is your host, Lord Valdrox, and I hope this video serves as a, you could say, cornerstone for information. Good day to you all.